G'day guys, welcome back. Each time someone says, how do I install Visual Pinball? It's always like, well, how are you gonna use it? What are you doing? <laughs> it's like a, you're doing it on the desktop, you've got a pin cab, you want VR, you know, have you got all the extra toys? Is that what you're gonna do or is it a basic install? There's so many options and variables, guys, which is why it can seem pretty confusing on the outset, um, especially when you're just trying to dive in. You see all these great Visual Pinball tables running, you'll, you'll wanna get started with it and it seems like it's really difficult. So look, I'm hoping that um, this video, so you guys out there that just wanna know more about Visual Pinball and the parts to it, because I think that's one of the biggest things that's useful to know is when you look at all these quite foreign terms that's in the Visual Pinball world, it, it can seem really daunting, confusing if you don't know what those things do. And so I'm really hoping in this video that I can explain what are these key parts to the programs. So let's get started this reference to the baller installer. So that's where we're going to start. If you do do a search on baller installer, you'll get to this page of the Nailbuster site. A lot of information up here about doing installs. But I don't want to get into the depths of the installs and all the good tutorial videos they've got there because I think the fundamentals behind it is what's important um, to start with. And that's what this video is about, guys. Let's just talk about the basics, get a good understanding of that. So what's in this baller installer? There's a number of programs here. Um, and so I just wanted to touch on those quickly. So again, for people that just really just don't know, Visual Pimble X, right, that's your main program that has the actual tables that you can actually load up. Now those tables, when you run them up, um, don't do anything unless they're actually either attached to a ROM or the tables themselves have their own scripts and so forth internally within them. And so some tables don't need a ROM. So some of the original tables, for example, don't need a ROM. So if you have a pimble, Visual Pimble X table, and then you have a, a ROM, the two need to talk to each other. Well, the way that they talk to each other is the second program on this list, which is Visual Pin MAME. And you may have heard of MAME in terms of emulating ROMs in the video game sphere. Well, Visual Pin MAME is a way of um, having those pinball ROMs um, executing and running. And the visual part of it is the connection through to Visual Pinball X. And the two talk to each other and bang, you can play your pinball game. So fundamentally, funnily enough, those two programs are pretty much the bare bones. You could actually run up a program with that, uh, run up a pinball uh, and, and play it. So if we go down the list now in terms of what else is included in this installer, it's going to give you the Visual Pimble X, which we talked about. That's your core program. It's got the, the Visual Pimble main for the ROMs. B2S server is also an application. This wasn't mentioned there. But the B2S server allows animated back glasses. So um, how do you get the back glass to animate as part of that particular table? Well, the table will use a separate program called B2S server, and then you'll actually have a separate file that you download for the back glass, and then that will trigger it up, and then you'll have animated back glasses. The pinup player, um, and you would, you'll hear these terms called pup packs, to put video and other cool stuff on the back glass of the pinball machine. It's not essential, but it's something that you might want to have, and some tables will say that it requires pinup. Uh, and, and there'll be a pup pack that you'll download separately, and that pup pack will have all that video and stuff in it that plays on your back glass, typically. So that's the pinup player. The pinup popper front end, you know, that you could have on a, a, a pinball cabinet, for example, and it's fully feature rich. Now there is another front end for, for launching tables, sorry guys. There's another front end that you can um, that you can use called Pimble X, which is the one that I've been using for years. I haven't actually run up Pimble Pin Up um, Popper, uh, but that's only because my Pimble X front end works fine and I didn't want to recreate it when it was all working good. But I, I do believe there's a lot more functionality and some pretty special whiz bang stuff. So if you want to go down that road, you can uh, for your front end. Uh, otherwise you might want to look at Pimble X. The other one that's been really uh, good for me is the uh, VP Launcher, which was actually for VR, but it has a 2D mode. And so you can put it in 2D. It's a really simple launcher. 
um, it detects all your tables that you have, it downloads all the artwork, it creates little 3D models, you can just flick between it, start up a table and off you go. Alright, so we're getting through the list. The next one is called DMD EXT and it's by a person called Freezy. Now DMD is the dot matrix display that is the DMD and the EXT is um, it's an external component, right? So what this allows you to do is to do a few things. You can actually send that dot matrix display um, from Visual Pinmain out to different devices. Like you could have a real dot matrix display and you can send your DMD to that piece of hardware. So it's really quite nice if you've got a pin cabinet. Um, you can actually send that DMD to a nice dot matrix display, so it looks really good. I've got one of those on my pin cabinet as well. It also does a, a virtual version of that, and it allows you to do things like um, uh, send colorized uh, ROMs to either a internal uh, screen-based DMD or out to a hardware-based DMD. And so that's just, an, again, extra levels of functionality. You don't have to have colorized ROMs or run those, but as you get more used to Visual Pin MAME and all the things that you can do with it, that's just one extra thing you can do, and the DMD EXT program will allow you to do that. All right, so that's DMD EXT. Now, Flex um, DMD is an interesting one. So. There used to be a program called Ultra DMD, and I think it is referenced further down in the document, and that was basically for people that wanted to create a dot matrix display for one of their original tables that didn't have a ROM. And so it was an, sort of a nice easy way to create that sort of dot matrix display that you have, um, but without a ROM. And so that program, Ultra DMD, was made to do that. It's been superseded by this new program called Flex DMD. It just does it better. I think the performance is a lot better uh, as well. And that means that that piece of program, that Flex DMD, you need to have that installed to run any table that says it requires Flex DMD. The next one is Future Pinball um, with BAM. And I'm not going to cover Future Pimple guys because I haven't been, I haven't used Future Pimple for a long time. All I'll say is that Future Pimple, it stopped in terms of its development years and years and years ago. Um, but then through this add-on called BAM, they were able to add additional functionality and physics changes and all sorts of stuff. Um, which gave it a whole added lease of life and so there's still people developing for it. Me personally, I really, really just enjoy and love all the VPX tables, but having said that, there's some pretty special tables, and Terry Red's done some pretty amazing stuff uh, with some of this pin event stuff that he's got uh, going. But that's all in the future pinball world, guys. And all I would suggest to you is that if you're going to go down this road, I would just start with VPX and get all that going. If you want to then go a little bit further and venture into future pinball and then get into the, the pin event stuff that Terry's got, I would do that as a secondary thing. Alright guys, so hopefully that wasn't too confusing. This isn't scripted obviously, so I'm just telling it from what I know. And there was one other thing that not mentioned here, but it was on the previous page, and that was DOF and DOF links. Seems we're right into the whole cabinet side of things uh, with these programs. And so DOF is the direct output framework, guys, and um, what they've done there is they have got a way of capturing all the key events that happen on a particular table. Uh, for, again, like solenoids going off if the, if the ball hits the bumper. And then through a separate program called DOF Links, DOF Links can then actually fire off your... Um, pieces of hardware to make those sounds like the, the, the bumpers are going off. So it just gives you that tactile force feedback. So yeah, so DOF itself is just all the configuration files and you can get that off a website and download those, um, uh, those configurations. There's like an update configuration for all tables. You just download that once and then you're all set. And then DOF links needs to be running and then that actually will then trigger off your hardware within your pinball cabinet. 
So there's no harm in installing all of this that comes with a baller installer. It's a one-click thing. You can just go through and, and follow the prompts. And it's a nice way to get everything running uh, quickly, even if you don't use some of the other elements. So, guys, I think we'll probably leave it there for this video. I'm sure I've probably... You've got more questions now <laughs> than maybe what I've answered. You know, I'm, I'm sure when I go back and watch this, I'll be like, oh, I should have explained this and that, and probably a lot better, but it's a start at least. If you do like this sort of thing, even just sort of conversational thing to help out way I've configured stuff, if you find it helpful, let me know, you know what, guys, in the comments below. If I've said something wrong or you need some more explanation, please correct me and put that in the comments as well to help out in others. Um, but I do hope that it was useful for some of you. Alright, let's leave it there guys. I will see you in the next video. Until then, ciao for now.